What's up, y'all? It's J. Wells Flicks from Create Something Every Day. Um, I'm doing something real unique today. I'm going to be very creative. I'm going to um, take one of my 20 by 30 prints, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount it onto a, a custom cut two inch thick piece of wood. Um, which wood style I don't know yet. I'm on my way now to the local hardware store to go check out a few pieces, things that, you know, not affected by moisture, things that, um, Maybe pre-sand it or maybe I have to sand it myself, but I'm gonna treat the wood, but this is gonna, I'm gonna mount the 20 by 30 photo um, on the wood. Um, and I'm also gonna use some art resin, so this should be fun. Um, I'm off to the store now. I catch y'all on the other side. Stay tuned, J. Wells Flicks. Within the next nine months. I'm excited, man. I hope y'all are too, man. Make sure y'all subscribe. Home Depot, you know what I mean? And so we found a good wood, we found a nice good wood. Let me turn this down, we found a nice good wood, um, Paul. I, uh, we got wound up getting six cuts out of it for $17. I feel like that's a win. So now we're getting ready to head home and put the other products and match them up and see what we come up with. And, and I'm just having fun, let's be creative, man. So. Thanks for staying with us on this journey. Journey, uh, and remember, subscribe and like this channel. Subscribe and follow the journey. This is 20 by 30. 20 by 30. So this is what we're gonna use. All right, folks. Welcome to the lab with me, uh, Jay Wells. Create something every day. So what we have here now, we have our wood. We have our 20 by 30 cutout piece of wood. What I'm doing now is I'm sanding the corners, you know, just get the corners to where there's nothing, you know, that can't splinter or give you anything. And I'm also going across the surface just to get any knots or anything that could possibly be rugged or anything that can lift the photo as I'm trying to lay it, you know. And this is just a normal cup of water. I'm just going to damp this cloth, you know, just damp it enough to hold water but not to saturate the wood. I'm just gonna take a damp rag and wipe across it. So this is the kind of paint I used. I mean, it's not that it's, you know, I just made sure I had something that was, you know, quality. I didn't really go for a certain look or anything like that. And just coat here, coat here. Coat over the wood, around the edges. So I'm gonna also hit the sides of it as well. All right guys, what I did was I took some Mod Podge. This is the brand, I got the big boys. I know I'm doing, you know, larger prints, so I went with the matte, you know, just matte, just cause I know it's under the photo. So I wanna make sure that I got a good enough quality and put enough over to cover the basis of this whole wood. And here we go. I'm using these sponges from your local arts and crafts store. I could've went brush, but I feel like I just wanted to get it on here. So I have this roller that I picked up for a few bucks and also this scraper, something that I'm going to use to, you know, go over, but right now we're going to use the roller just to spray and I'm going to go across. Okay. Place here, what we're going to do is let it dry. 
I give everything about 10 minutes because I wanted to settle. I wanted to become one with, you know, this panel and I want the photo to kind of settle in and if I see anything else, I'll kind of jump in and do that before we go to the next step, which is the most important step because we're entering the most um, technical and chemically included part in this whole process. So I'm going to let this get a good dry and I'll see you guys on the other side. So I cleaned up most of the Mod Podge and now I'm using a paint pen made by Sharpie. Get it from your Arts and Crafts store. I like to sign all my prints personally. Um, and I want this to actually be under the resin so I can kind of lift. I'm using gold here. And that's that. Now, this is epoxy resin. It's two part, well one part mix. So I mixed the resin and I mixed the sealant. And now I'm about to start for approximately about three minutes. y'all so we completed the, the process of adding the resin and it worked out fine so right now I'm just looking at all the edges to make sure the edges has the resin kind of running over and it does so I can have that encapsulated look once it dries uh, we'll see what it look like when it's over I'll see you in 24 hours and we'll wrap this thing up what's up y'all welcome back uh, this is 24 hours later on a photo we resin I know it's hard to see but it got a nice, clear, shiny coat on it. And uh, we did our thing, man. So again, I appreciate y'all hanging in there, seeing the final. Uh, yeah, man, make sure you like, subscribe, share this video, and stay tuned to what we got coming up. J-Wells Flicks, create something every day.